Thank you. Good evening, uh, residents and everyone. A um, couple of things going on in town. Um, we are uh, still watching the, the golf course uh, construction project uh, developed. Uh, I take a tour usually once or twice a week and just find out what's going on. So you start to see walls go up. We're probably going to start to see steel coming in in the next week. So the building's starting to, uh, to take form. Uh, everything seems to be on schedule. Um, again, for those golfers, just bear with us. I think everything's under control right now, but um, there's still a lot of construction going on there. A um, couple things going on around town from road program. We've got Gettysburg, uh, Hickory Hill, and uh, Shady Wood Lane that are being, uh, uh, being resurfaced. So those are current roads that are going on. Then we're going to move to parts of Ravenna Road. So the north part of Ravenna Road will be the next one in line. So just uh, uh, I know everyone's been patient about Ravenna Road, but it's going to start here soon. Um, the Rotary, uh, the River Run, so I've been working with the Rotary and this has been a great event that they've organized. Um, it was a great turnout uh, this past uh, Sunday uh, and uh, we had great weather and uh, I know that the next uh, couple of weeks are getting booked up so there are a few spots left but um, they're meeting at Glen Meadow Park um, and then you get escorted over to East Idlewood and you get about a 30 to, depends how fast you pedal, 30 to 40 minute uh, trip down uh, Tinker Creek so but they've done a great job organizing that and it's uh, you know for those who haven't been on Tinker's Creek um, it, it's just it's really beautiful back there it's really it's not that accessible but from a kayak it's it's really a um, it's really beautiful property back there and you know an asset of Twinsburg that you don't get to experience that often um, Relay for Life as mentioned by Mr. Fury is uh, going to be August 12th um, it is a whole different event this year. They're at the square, um, and I just encourage everyone to get out. We have a, a team set up from the city that's going to be there. Um, so we're looking for it's a carnival atmosphere. Just, you know, encourage everyone to, to come participate. Um, another event we've got going on in the square is, uh, of course, the market on the square. It happened this past weekend. Uh, it, it, it continues to grow. It's everything that I think we envisioned when we first started planning it. We had 60 vendors. Uh, in June, we had 72 vendors this past uh, Saturday. The whole time from 10 o'clock on, we had, we had traffic through there. I s spent a lot of time walking around, meeting the vendors, talking to them, and they love, they love the setting, and it's been a great event for them. So we're expecting August now to be a little bit bigger, and that'll be on August 26th, and then the final one's on September 9th. Um, we do have Founders Day uh, that's going to be coming up. Uh, that's on uh, July 22nd, and uh, great committee. You know, Derek's been heading that, but we have a lot of people, a lot of residents that have taken active roles in making sure that event uh, is going to happen smoothly. But I encourage you to come out. Uh, parking's going to be crazy. We've got a car show. Uh, we'll be serving food to everyone. We've got just we've got two stages with entertainment. There's just it's going to be a full day of of, of events going to happen on uh, July 22nd. So I encourage you to to come out for that. Um, Again, uh, Mr. Scafidi mentioned Rock the Park is just really busy right now. We did have uh, Building 429, um, a fantastic band, um, a whole different level of band than we've really um, had here. Unfortunately, we got two inches of rain in three hours, which um, slowed things down, but it didn't, it didn't stop anything. You know, we had, we had 75 people dancing in knee-deep water down in front of the stage. We had to pull them out because of electrical issues, but <laughs> anyway, they were having fun. So, um, and then the Pops Orchestra is always a great event. You know, it's a huge turnout every year. Um, you know, just really our, our safety forces, our service department. You know, I got to see this past weekend the, everything from setup to what goes on, and there's just a tremendous amount of work that happens behind the scenes to really make those events run as smooth as they do. So, you know, thanks to, to all of them that uh, the help with that. We've got uh, concerts coming up. So this weekend we've got Post Road, which is a great local band. Um, roots here around Cleveland. Uh, I know it's going to be a good turnout for that. We have Desert Highway, um, which is an Eagles tribute band coming up on the 28th. And then our last concert, which is always a fun, interesting night, Disco Inferno, um, is on August 11th. So if you've never been to see them, it's, just, it's, an, it's, an, it's an interesting night. It's a lot of fun. So I'd encourage you to come out for that. Um, Twins Day, um, I'm trying to cover a lot of things because we've got a break here coming up on council, but Twins Day is coming up the 4th, 5th, and 6th of August. We've been planning it. It looks like everything is moving along, so we're, you know, expecting another huge, 
huge turnout here in Twinsburg. The town gets kind of taken over. Um, and then the Tuesday before is National Night Out. So National Night Out, we did it last year. We had, it was great. We had about 600 people show up. Um, it's a community police event. It happens around the nation um, where different communities basically bring their police officers and their residents together. Uh, we actually bring in the township, um, Reminderville. Um, we have the SWAT team there. We've got some uh, from the uh, Army Reserves brings in vehicles. Um, it's just, you know, it's a great event. Um, we did last year a safety force challenge, which we're going to be doing again. So we'll have our police first fire in the stadium. Um, we just found out today we are having another canine demonstration. Um, the ASO is being retired, however, would like to attack me one more time um, <laughs> before he goes out. So they've got a new bite suit that I will be testing out on National Night Out. Um, and if there's any councilman that would like to, to do that, they're more than welcome to. But no, thanks. I'll be the suit. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know that it really. I don't know that it really matters. So if you saw my arms from last year. It, it's. I'm just. I'll get through it. So. Mayor, um, what was the date of the uh, night out? It's uh, August first. August first from five to eight. Um, Thank you. Let's see. Um, what else we got going on? Um, this coming Thursday um, is the ninth anniversary of um, uh, of us losing Officer McTarian, and so at nine a.m. We are going to have a silent kind of vigil out at uh, his memorial, so anyone's welcome to join in on that. Um, it's a very short event, but um, just taking a moment of silence just to, to remember Josh. Um, so, you know, just keep, again, keep his, uh, his family in your prayers because I know it's a difficult time of year for them. Um, um, at the end of the week, uh, we do have an, an outing that basically raises money for his children. Um, college expenses it's a fund that goes on i'm not sure if they're sold out yet generally we sell it out but um you can get in touch with city hall if you're interested in participating in that um and i believe that's all i have for this evening <laughs>